So back to our PSMT, in the last video we talked about observations, this time we're talking about assumptions. This video, I hope, will be shorter than the previous one because everything that we spoke about with observations applies to assumptions as well. The key difference, however, is what an assumption actually is. Now, an assumption is something that the student is assuming, okay? This assumption is not mentioned in the question and it's a choice the student is making. And that's what separates assumptions from observations. Observations, you observe something in the text of the task sheet, or you observe something because you did some research on the internet and you find out the ratio of males to females in the population. Um, however, an assumption is not something that you uh, are, is sort of forced upon you. It's a choice that you're making as the math student. Importantly, your assumption needs to have some sort of material effect on the validity of the maths you're doing. You don't just assume all sorts of nonsense. You're assuming something because it makes it easier to do the mathematics or possible to do the mathematics. It has an effect on your mathematical model. Of course, just like in observations, the best way you can help yourself is by in-text referencing. Because while you're making choices, you're making choices based on research. You do some research on the internet and you could use this method or you could use this method, but you're going to assume this thing. And so you've done some research, show me where you did that research. The QCAA have this to say in their most recent subject report. I've highlighted in yellow, evidence to support the assumption, i.e. the in-text reference. You can also show evidence to support the assumption to talk about what the, what the likely effect of that assumption is or the impact of not making the assumption. If I don't assume this, then this is what will happen to the mathematical model. So likely impact or impact of not making the assumption. As usual, the QCAA have some exemplary ideas here. Um, we can see an assumption we can see evidence for why that assumption is an assumption we can make. We've done some research. And then we can also see, whoops, we can also see this assumption restricts birth rates, et cetera, et cetera. So the assumption and why the assumption is important and some evidence. You don't always need evidence. Um, you can see dot point four here. Does our assumption entirely without Evidence, I can't see in-text referencing there. So how do we get away with it? Let's read it. It was assumed that initially no one left or entered Western Australia prior to immigration. There's a one sentence, there's our assumption. If you stop there, that's not documentation, that's a statement. Luckily, this student doesn't stop there. That's, this student keeps going. The developed Leslie matrix did not initially account for interstate and international traveling. Therefore, this assumption must be made to prevent skewing the data, creating an unrealistic model. This comes back to our um, advice from the QCAA, who says that if you want to document your assumption, you can also talk about the, alike, the likely effect of the important assumption or the impact of not making it. And that's exactly what's been done here. Therefore, this assumption must be made to prevent skewing the data. So the likely uh, impact of not making the assumption would be skewed data. Uh, so that's how you can get away with it. You've got to be able to talk about how it's impacting or how not making the assumption would impact. This is a second example, and I wanted to show it to you because there's one more interesting thing here. This time they're not making references to something they've seen on the internet. Instead, they're making reference to an observation they've made, which is something they saw on the internet. So your observations and assumptions can be linked. I did some research, I made an observation, and that observation leads me to make this assumption. I'm not gonna read through all of those, but I think that's a really interesting idea when it comes to creating these assumptions. That's assumptions.